Trying to do something to reduce gun violence in South Carolina was the focus at the State House today. Protesters rallied at the State Capitol asking lawmakers to close a loophole that can allow people to buy guns even if they shouldn't be allowed to legally. 7 News reporter Robert Kittle shows you the hands around the State House rally. Brandon Jones. They read the names of victims of gun violence in South Carolina, circling the State House holding hands or holding ribbons or even blankets with the pictures of victims. They're asking state lawmakers to close what they call the Charleston loophole that allowed accused Charleston shooter Dylan Roof to buy a gun. A background check should have rejected him, but the check wasn't completed in time and he got the gun. The way the law is now, authorities have three days to do a background check on someone buying a gun. After three days, a dealer can sell the gun even if the background check is not finished. Senator Marlon Kimson of Charleston sponsored a bill that says a gun couldn't be sold until the background check is finished. It does not make any sense under any scenario to have a background check that does not have to be complete. Melody McFadden's niece, Sandy Barnwell, was killed at Memorial Day Bike Fest two years ago in Myrtle Beach. When is it going to be enough? When is enough people going to die before our legislature does something? Senator Gerald Malloy sponsored a bill to allow 28 days for background checks instead of three. Why would we not? Um, because it's not going to stop you if you're entitled to end up having one. If you go in and you're clear, you're just clear. But those bills have no chance of passing this year. Senate Judiciary Chairman Larry Martin says he didn't have a hearing on the bills because he didn't think they'd pass. Opponents say a longer background check could be used to keep anyone from buying guns. But Martin promises to have a hearing on the bills this summer. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News. Senator Martin says he did not agree to have a hearing this summer in response to the rally today. He told us this afternoon it was in response to Senator Kimson promising to hold up the Senate by filibustering another gun bill to recognize concealed weapons permits from Georgia.